This video is brought to you by ClipChamp. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to record your screen online using ClipChamp. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's get started with recording our screen and edit our footage, obviously, right after the intro. All right guys, so as you can see right now, we are on ClipChamp and this is basically what you will see when you log into your account that you can just create for free if you don't have one already. So then if you go into your account and you can click on the left button at the top where it says create a video, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the format of our project. So obviously, once again, I showed this in many other tutorials, like first you wanna decide what kind of resolution do you have. Is this gonna be a YouTube video, 16 by nine, the widescreen is it going to be an Instagram you know presentation or a video or whatever or a story you can also just choose that one but for this one I'm going to just use the 16 by 9 widescreen one now that we have the editor open in ClipChamp right here it says record screen so now we're going to click on there then you want to basically choose what kind of screen you want to record I have two ones because I have two monitors obviously uh, if you have one monitor you will only see one preview if you have for example three or four monitors they will all pop up in this window so right now i want to go ahead and record the very first one but you can also choose to record different apps for example skype or team viewer or basically any other app that you have or you can also record a chrome tab that you have open but for now we're gonna stick with our first monitor so if you click on there we will actually see it highlighted and at the bottom you can also click on share audio or record audio you want to check that so you will also record the audio that you're playing back obviously so then we're gonna click on share and as you can see right now it is now recording so at the very bottom on the left, you can see how long you've been recording and all that. And you can also record like per file, it's gonna be 10 minutes. So if you wanna have, for example, a gameplay that's really, really long, you can just record it in like two or three takes as well. Okay, so now you want to basically do whatever you wanna do, but, but I'm not gonna do anything special right now because I'm just showing you how to record your screen. So let's say that we finished editing a video. Let's say that you're recording a tutorial or something like that, or you finished gaming. You're gonna click on this square icon to stop the recording. And then as you can see, they will basically show us what we have recorded. So on the left, you can just discard it and retake the recording if you made any mistakes or anything. But if the video is good to go, you can just click on add to project. And it's really cool that it's now just converting and it's gonna be straight right here on the top left in your media library, which allows us to drag it into the timeline and we we can actually start cutting. All right, so let's say that we want to, for example, cut out like the beginning that we're preparing everything. So let's scroll a little bit to our timeline and let's go ahead and move the marker to where that white box in the center is gone. So if I'm gonna move this guy a little bit, for example, about 10 seconds into the footage, we can actually split it right here. So now we're gonna click on the video and then we're gonna hit split on the left and it will actually make this part separate from the video. So now we can actually delete the first part and now you're able to edit your recording into your timeline right here. You can apply all the different filters and transforms. You can shrink it to size if you want to. We can also crop the fill if that's needed. We can flip it and we can also rotate it as many times as we want in all kinds of directions. We can also lower the opacity, anything like that. On the top, we also have filters, for example, like a black and white one. We have increased colors, like really intense contrast. We have muted, kind of grayed out. We have indoors, scenery, portrait, outdoors. Everything is in there and it works exactly the same as you would be recording a regular video for your channel. Now, we also have the color balance, meaning that we can also mess with the exposure, with the saturation, everything like that. Also with the temperature, Temperature, for example, like making a lot warmer or a lot colder. And you can also mess with this bottom marker, which is gonna be the contrast. So now obviously we can also make our footage fade in. So if I'm gonna make that one about one second long, this is basically what it looks like. looks really really cool and obviously you can also create a fade out 
that's going to be exactly as long as the fade in. We can also speed up this clip, for example, make it slower, make it normal, make it faster. You can also choose like how fast it's going to be. And at the bottom, you can actually see that your clip is going to get shrinked or stretched out. And then it all depends on what kind of tempo you're using. I'm just going to keep this on normal because we're not creating, for example, like certain time lapses or anything like that. So it's basically really, really simple to record your screen, do whatever you want to do in your recording, and then just drag it into your editor and you can actually start editing it straight away. And it's really cool because this method of screen capture is an excellent tool for communicators, for small businesses advertising their e-commerce stores to creators making online tutorials. Screen recording allows you to share your laptop or computer screen with anyone and immerse viewers in an experience from your point of view. Importantly, it allows you to share your screen when it's not physically possible to do it in person, especially during these difficult times. Something more relevant than ever at this time. Clipchamp has just launched a free online screen recorder in their video editor as well, like I just showed you, because recording your screen and editing the footage into a video is simple enough to complete in a single web browser. So you don't need any other external softwares for this. You don't need to mess with OBS. You don't need to mess with any other software that you need to download externally. You can can just go ahead and do it in browser record your screen do all that even include the audio and that's how amazing it is okay so now that we have a little more information about how this works and that you have now tested it out and it worked now it's time to edit your video and when that's done at the very end basically for any video you want to export it so at the top right it says export so if you click on there we can actually choose our resolution on the right so I'm just gonna pick 1080p that's obvious and then you can also choose to compress your file size. And compression basically means that they'll reduce the size of your video with a little quality loss, so it's easy for you to share. High compression may increase export time. So I'm gonna keep that unchecked for now, and I'm gonna hit continue. So now, obviously, our project is exporting, as you saw also with a little fade in. And then it's really cool that you can just copy the link, you can embed it onto your website, you can share it onto Messenger on Facebook, you can share it on your Facebook profile itself or your Facebook page for your YouTube channel. You can also share it on this website and you can also share it on WhatsApp. And at the very bottom, when the exporting is done, you can download the video as an MP4 file onto your computer and you can upload it straight onto YouTube. And that's basically how simple it is, guys. You can do anything that you want to do with your screen recording. This was just a really, really quick test to show you how it works. And then when this video has finished exporting, the download video button becomes clickable and the upload to YouTube button also becomes clickable. So you can share them or upload them anywhere you want. So if you guys have any questions about this screen recorder and how to edit it in Clipchamp, even though it's pretty straightforward, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I'll try to respond to as many comments as possible. And that is how to record your screen online in web browser using Clipchamp. So guys, that's this for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the first link down in the description to get started and record your screen in HD. You can also edit it in the Clipchamp editor as well, like I just showed you. So if this video was helpful, once again, make sure to reward it with a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you guys in a brand new video tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh,